Hey Pisces, Everlong Mystic here. Today we're going to get you a Gremlin Bell reading. So, <clears throat> I made a spread in the shape of a bell. That's your Gremlin Bell. And we're going to put a Gremlin inside of it. See what your Gremlin is. And then we're just going to look at some aspects of the bell. <clears throat> so, if you don't know what a Gremlin Bell is, it's basically like, uh, I guess present day, it's... There's a, it's a bell you could put on, like, your motorcycle <clears throat> to trap road gremlins, and the ringing of the bell releases the gremlin so it doesn't cause havoc with your machinery or whatever. But we're gonna go ahead and get the cards out here, and we'll go through it. And of course, I have a gremlin deck. I have a gremlin deck. We're going to use this to... It's just a deck of playing cards. Let's see what your gremlin is. What is this? Okay, so it's hiding something. He's hiding something under his jacket. Alright. So, your gremlin. So we have... We have this gremlin here, and it's the Ace of Wands. But he's hiding something. I feel, so that kind of feels like holding back. Holding back, Pisces. So there's something... There's something fire-related that you're holding back. I don't know if it's, like, anger. Or it could be spicy. <laughs> um, but it's, but it's coupled here with the star. So that is that hopes, dreams, or healing energy. It feels like blocking... It feels like blocking something that is waiting to come in for you because... because you're hiding something. It's like there's a part of your fire that you're, you're either not acknowledging or you're not using. And it's blocking, I feel, it feels like it's blocking something good from coming in for you. Okay, so now we have an idea of what your gremlin is. Then we're going to look at your bell here. And your bell is basically, you know, it protects you from gremlins in your life. And of course this is metaphorical. Alright, so this placement here is what strengthens this bell. Oh, sweet. So you have the sun. Right on. So this is like... This is not letting things bother you. You know, like, it's like you keep going on, you know? It's like you enjoy... Find as many things as you can that you enjoy and... And let yourself enjoy them. And... And not really focusing on too much. Like, not putting too much pressure on yourself when, you know, like when you, when you don't feel bad or you don't feel like your dreams are coming true or, you know, that kind of thing. It's like this happy, vitalizing sun energy is what strengthens your bell here. All right, so let's look at here. This is the gap. This is that gap where, like, um, the inspiration behind this placement in this spread for me was the um the fact that when when there's kind of like this gap in explanation like something unexplained like i don't know how this happened you know like uh, let's say something went wrong and you just cannot for the life of you explain how it happened so you blame a gremlin and the gremlin gets in because of that gap right and and also the like ducks like their their feet are webbed right and and the web fills in the gaps between, you know, between the fingers or whatever. But there's a gene, there's a gene that is um, responsible for the webbing, right? And it's called the gremlin gene. And so we're just going to look here. So what's this gap that lets the gremlin in? Alright, so we have Page of Swords, which is kind of puzzling. Why would the Page of Swords be your gap? It almost feels like not doing your homework. 
It's like when you, it's kind of like when you don't fully research something to the best of your abilities. Or just being, I mean, of course, pages are novice energy. It's like, it's like almost like going forward with something or committing to a, a train of thought or a school of thought more like it when you don't have all the information. Hmm. I almost feel like I need a clarifier card for this. So your gremlins get in when you move forward with something. Oh, it's rabbit holes. Okay, okay. I don't need clarification. This is when this is when you get carried away with going down rabbit holes. That's that that kind of opens up opportunities for a gremlin to come in. It almost it's it's almost like it acts as a trigger. Like all those like excessive rabbit holes can even be like conspiracy theories or something, but like the the further the further down you go in them, the more opportunities there are for gaps. Because like there's a lot of information out there and and not a lot of it's true. You know what I mean? So it's like if you're constantly trying to fi figure these things out, things that you're not really familiar with and you may not even resonate totally with them but going down the rabbit hole anyway that that opens you up to it's like hiding like it kind of blocks it's like kind of buttons up like it buttons up your true your true fire your true creativity your true passion because you're going down the rabbit holes of other people you know what i mean all right so let's look at this card here. This is your connection. This is your connection to your bell. And the bell, of course, is this protective thing that is, you know, it helps you out, right? Helps ease some of the troubles. So your connection is... Oh, it's rich. Check it out. You have the Nine of Pentacles. So it's rich. You have a very rich connection. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry about that. So we have, um... <clears throat> feels like I have dust in my throat. So we have this rich connection, and it seems... It, it kind of seems fancy. Like, she's a... She's a fancy lady, right? She's got a fancy bird. She's got a fancy little winery. She's got lots of fancy, a fancy dress. This... This is, um... This is elaborate. And it seems like, Pisces, that you have a very... A very rich and elaborate connection to what protects you which is awesome which is awesome it's like you've got you've got variety too I feel like there's more than one way that you are aware of that you know about that you're comfortable with that protects you from havoc havoc so that's that's really cool all right so this card here this is how you use that connection. Oh, awesome. Well, that's smart of you too. So we have the five of pentacles here and it's like, you know, <clears throat> this is like, you know exactly when to use this. It's like when, when you, when you feel like this, times like this, because when you are, <clears throat> when you're feeling down and out, when you're feeling discluded, when, you know, when you're feeling overall like, holy crap, things are starting to suck. That's, that's when you button up your Ace of Wands here. That's when you button up and block yourself from receiving what you need. Or receiving, you know, like getting closer to your hopes and dreams or whatever. It's like you, you're aware of what that, it's almost like a, like your trigger almost. You're aware of your triggers. And that's how you use, that's how you use this connection. It's like, it, it's almost, it's very systematic, which is not super Pisces, but it, it can be, it can be. But like you get, you get this trigger, you recognize the feeling and, or the situation, and you're like, okay, 
Well, fancy lady, my fancy connection, I'm gonna use my fancy connection to fix this. It's like, I know what to do. Very cool. It's like, as long as you're, as long as you're, as you're, as you're sitting, like, more in this sun energy than staying in this energy, your, your bell is totally fortified. Okay, so this last card here, Pisces, this is the ringing of the bell. It, and, and the ringing of the bell is what knocks that gremlin out of there, right? That's what knocks it off. So, how do you knock off that gremlin? Queen of Wands, oh, perfect. This is, I don't think any, any better card could come out. This is perfect. We have the Queen of Wands. She's the master of her fire. She's the master of her creativity. She is not afraid to show it. It's right there out in the open. It's not it's not being hidden in in her in her dress or her jacket like this gremlin's trying to do. <laughs> I like that. And look, she's got one hand on her wand, another hand on her sunflower. This is perfect. Uh, you you totally got this. You got this. You got this. All right. So Pisces, um, this is your Gremlin Bell reading, and uh, my criteria for this series for a bonus reading is the the icky cards. So that would be like the Death, the Devil, Tower, Three of Swords, Nine or Ten of Swords. So kind of like some of the worst cards, and I don't see any of those for you, so we're not doing a bonus, but I hope this helped you in some way or confirmed something for you, and I thank you for embracing your inner mystic. I'll see you next time, Pisces. Bye.